from your weather authority. Here's meteorologist Kara Thompson. Good evening, Concho Valley. Well, like we've been talking about, we've just been talking about these high temperatures all day long, and it's still pretty mild out there here in San Angelo, currently at 92 degrees, dew point currently at 46 degrees, and we're getting winds from the south at 6 miles per hour, and we broke another record. Our high today was 108 degrees. That happened in the later part of the afternoon, and that broke the old high record of 105 degrees by 3 degrees, and that was back in 2012. And we could be seeing the, the same tomorrow. However, we're going to be a little bit closer. Uh, tomorrow's high is actually 108 in terms of record. So we'll see if we make it up to that point. We might even tie it. And then our morning low was actually at 71 degrees. So it's been a little bit cooler in terms of the morning, not quite as mild in the high, higher 70s that we have been seeing. Now in terms of the satellite radar, clear across the map, we're really not seeing anything. However, we are under that excessive heat warning for the entirety of the Concho Valley. And that will continue into 8 p.m. tomorrow evening. So like I said, it's going to be hot out there. Just remember those heat safety tips of making sure to drink water and taking plenty of breaks if you're working outside tomorrow. Now, really, here's what our next weather setup is. Right now, we're looking at this front that's currently over Oklahoma and even a little bit of eastern Texas right now. This is going to turn into a cool front and it could bring us just a little bit of relief and also some slight chances for rain as we head into Tuesday. So in terms of future cast, really for tomorrow, it's going to be mostly sunny overall, waking up with lows in the mid 70s once again and going into the afternoon hours it's going to be hot i'm actually projecting a high here in san angelo of 109 degrees so like i said make sure you're taking those breaks if you are working outside now as we head into tuesday it's going to be expecting that cloud cover to start picking up a little bit as we head into the morning and afternoon hours on tuesday also going to be another mild morning but because we have that increased cloud cover it's going to be a little bit milder than usual probably going to be in the high 70s now, here's really the setup. So, like I said, we're looking at this front. It will be changing over to a cold front, it's a very weak cold front, though, so more so of a cool front. Now, as we head into Monday, it's going to start draping probably over the Concho Valley Monday evening, but then as we go into Tuesday, it will change over to a stationary front. We could be seeing some rain chances in terms of high temperatures, though, probably going to be around 99 degrees in terms of high temperatures. And like I said, very slight models aren't agreeing as much in terms of where it's going to rain at or how much it's going to rain. So I'm keeping it right now at the chance for some isolated storms and showers for most of Tuesday. Now for tonight's forecast, mostly clear skies with a low of 73 degrees. And for tomorrow, once again, another sweltering day, high of 109 degrees. And for your weather authority extended forecast for the rest of the week, like I said, we're going to see a little bit of a cool down, but it's mostly in terms of it's going to be 100 degrees instead of 109 degrees. Like I said, slight rain chances for Tuesday. Those temperatures are going to Stay around the 100 to 102 range as we head into the weekend and possibly looking at another front coming by next Monday. So we'll keep you updated on that. And now the answer to tonight's KLSC weather trivia question at sea level, water boils at sea, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But here's a fun fact the temperature at which water boils can depend on your elevation. As the altitude increases, the atmospheric pressure pushing down on the water decreases, which allows the water to boil at lower temperatures. So if you're at, let's say, 7,500 feet above sea level, Water will start boiling at 198 degrees. So it's a little cool fact. That I yeah I got the answer wrong. I thought the answer was the other. I don't know what the other 200 number mm -hmm. was, but there was only two, right? Yeah. So yeah, I got the answer wrong. But it does depend on where you're at. So. Yeah, that which is exciting to see because I would think that it wouldn't be that way. Yeah, at all. I thought it would be all across the board the same number. If that atmospheric pressure messes everything. Yeah. Up. <laughs> well, coming up later today.